Oh hello and welcome to this assumptions video. These are my favourite videos to do. I asked your assumptions over on Instagram. So let's get into it. You're a fabulous date. Absolutely I'm a fabulous date. I wouldn't want you to think anything less. You are in more Adult Swim series. In this moment, I am not. If you don't know, I was in an Adult Swim series called 12 Ounce Mouse for Cartoon Network. Well, I'll take uh, every one of them. You'll take what I give you. Get them all! And my friend Matt Malero created it, and then I was part of a film called Pastocalypse. You still can't fly, eh? God dang it, I didn't do anything to you! I know! That's why I'm helping. So much fun, so out of my comfort zone, so great to be characters and be moody and badass and have lines written for me. I'm tired of living like this, always hiding. We're smarter than that. Amplify 540, heighten quantum and dilute by ethereal Russianic shit. <laughs> that's that's a good it. line. But in this moment, I am not in any more Adult Swim series, but whoever is out there, Matt, or the other team, um, call me. I can totally understand why someone would write this one. You sleep in the studio a lot. I have not stayed overnight, however, a siesta is sometimes a very good idea. Especially if you've been up in the morning and you're just trying to power through and then you want to do a late night session and you just want to continue that creative flow but sometimes you're just too tired. Yeah, so some, sometimes, you know, sleep is incredibly important. You don't play the viola anymore. In this moment, I do not play the viola. I can play the viola. The reason I don't have my viola is just simply because I've been traveling so much. So it is in a different location to where I am. You have a nice car. In this moment, I actually do not own a car. If you have been following me for a while, you must know, uh, I love driving. I did used to own a really cool car that was, you know, secondhand, pretty old, had done a lot of miles but was just awesome and I had so much fun in it and I yeah, drove all around Europe in it um, after the pandemic. Yeah, I went on lots of adventures and I think driving just gives you that freedom, doesn't it? But in this moment, I just don't need it and I wanna be responsible and save money and yeah. So uh, no, I've just got, I've got my bike and yeah, that's pretty fun too. I am assuming you enjoy some metal from time to time. I feel like this is known. I do enjoy metal music. I grew up listening to it. I have friends in that genre. And I feel like the guitar community, the metal guitar community has been so friendly and I feel like they sort of found YouTube first. So I'm, I'm rather grateful to metal music. I also was in a heavy metal rock band when I was about 15 and it was a really good education. I just realized I wasn't writing metal songs <laughs> and I am not a virtuosic guitarist enough to survive in the metal genre. However, if any instrumental bands out there want to do a rare vocal song, I would happily sing for a metal record. Guys, can you stop fighting? You don't particularly enjoy living in the city and you'd rather move to the countryside. I am a total city girl. To be honest, I actually don't know if I could ever live in the countryside full time. I grew up in a very, very small city. It was basically a large town called Salisbury. And I liked that, but we, even though it was, even though it's quiet, it's still quite quiet, there was still enough going on that it kept you entertained. And I, need kind of life just to show up for me especially working so much alone so much by myself i feel like i step out of my door now and i'm just hit with city vibes and i really really genuinely need that i think i would i think i would struggle uh, just to not become a complete hermit if i lived in the countryside because i wouldn't meet new people i wouldn't see new things i need constant 
sort of inspiration. I remember, I think it's Ian McEwan who wrote Atonement, who I was obsessed with when I was a teenager, and all his books. And I think when he got writer's block, he would just go and ride the bus. I think he was living in London and he'd just go and ride the bus and just look at the city and just look at all the people and look at all the stories. And I think if you're an artist, it's really nice to be able to cocoon yourself away sometimes. Those birds are so chirpy. However, you also need to witness things and you need to people watch and you need to... You need to hear birds singing or arguing, whatever they're doing over there. So no, I'm a complete and utter city girl and I hope that changes your assumption about me. Bean bags are just boneless sofas. Not an assumption, I just wanted to appear in the video. There we go, you appeared in the video. You are really short. People ask this a lot. I am five foot 6.5. I am above average for women in the UK. I think the average height for a woman in the UK is five foot four, men five foot eight, five foot eight, and I'm five seven. Let's round up. You have a signature Martin that you can't talk about yet because it's a secret. Give me five years, I think. I feel like I need to win a Grammy before that is an option. However, if you would like to own my signature Martin, let me know in the comments below. I do think the beauty of a signature with Martin would be that I would have like one super fancy limited edition model and then a much more like gigable, affordable model that I also, you know, play a lot out and about. Um, but then you also have, you have both sides of the spectrum for the collectors, because I mean, it's still a Martin. I know, I know my name might devalue it, <laughs> but it's still a Martin. If it's limited edition, incredibly high quality material, just their beautiful craftsman, craftsmanship. And then you also have the gigable version. I think that's really important for me because, you know, that's how I started busking. Chirpy birds. They all agree. They're like, yeah, 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 we want, we want your mom. <laughs> they're so noisy. So yeah, they're in agreement. Signature Martin. Give me five years. Give me five years. <laughs> you never write silly songs. I do write silly songs. I mean, most of my songs start out as silly songs and then they become slightly more serious. I have written a number of silly songs for YouTube videos. You might have seen them. Would you date a pilot? Well, I wouldn't date someone for their job, but if I were to date anyone, that would be a particularly sexy job, wouldn't it? <laughs> Got some extra participants in this video. <laughs> Do you know what? Fun fact, I've never ridden a Segway. I'm gonna move out of the spot. I feel like it's dangerous. <laughs> I'm being flooded by segways. <laughs> Your salty song was about a famous ex-girlfriend. Ooh, famous ex-girlfriend. Who should I start a rumor about? I posted a work in progress song over on Instagram and it is incredibly salty. So who was I dating? Hmm, put your, put, so let's spread some rumors in the comments below. Who was I dating? I was dating, hmm. <laughs> my friends are gonna laugh um i was dating fletcher yeah um that is the truth nothing but the truth went through a um, her whole second album is going to be about me and then I, my whole second album will be about her and that is just the way that it works you know so yeah um yeah my 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 famous ex-girlfriend <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this assumptions video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something about me. The only thing I'm gonna talk about, just to raise awareness of, is my very good friend, Rachel K. Collier, has released a mixtape. It's out on Spotify, out on all streaming services. Um, I will drop a link in the description below. So just go and check that out because it's been the album that I've been listening to recently. It's, an, it's just full of bangers. Um, songs in the key of internet. Definitely go check it out. It's awesome. Love, Rachel. And yeah, I'll be seeing you here very, very soon. <laughs>